Yes. Let me watch it. <coughs> Let's see where we are here. <coughs> Ooh, I see something on my phone, dude. And I hear it. That Folks, quick? I think that, that we quick? are on. Yeah, there we are. Look. Can we distro? We got yeah. two people watching. Get Probably you and me watching. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Bravo. Uh, yeah, yeah, Linda. Yeah. Linda Kreider. Yeah, Linda yeah. Kreider's on. Ray right Kreider. Hello. Yay. Yeah. Hey. Joel, guess what time? <laughs> Sorry about that. Guess what time it is, Joel? <laughs> hey, Keith, <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> it's time once again for Smack and Jack Live here from lovely. Too bad you don't have glasses. I could have just like uh, shielded everything. From lovely Chester County and Somerset Studios. We've got a great for show for you today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a prologue as usual. Yeah. And talk about something about a little bit of an Amazon or account. Uh, our campaign. Amazon Associates account. Yep. Uh, some Facebook ads. Questionable yeah. posts we got. Uh, trivia President's Day facts. Because, hey, happy President's Day weekend. Happy President's Day weekend, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Give it up. <clears throat> President's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on oh a minute. Oh, boy. No, that's not it. Anyway. Uh, and we got tri uh, our trivia answers, and we got our ever-popular birthday minute. So grab your coffee. It's going to be a little slow start this morning, but we're, we're excited, and we'll be back in one second. We're going to climb our way out of the mud. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacky Jack Live. With your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Flanderman. Yeah, yeah, yeah welcome, here. welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, who else is on? Barbara? Good morning, Barbara. Uh, boy, I tell you, man, I haven't <laughs> seen Keith this uh, disheveled in a long well, time. Well, probably since what? last Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's ailing you? This uh, morning, uh, just uh, not not a whole lot. Just uh, you know, I should should have gone to bed a little bit earlier, but I didn't. But uh, a little bit of coffee, and I'm going to be raring to go. Yeah, and so. we're, we're missing a symbol, right? Is uh, yeah, and that's that's the disheveled uh, here. <laughs> My drum set, I can bring it into. No symbol today. I cannot find it. I heard it when I grabbed it. And, yeah, it's uh, over there somewhere. It's but over there is, somewhere, but maybe next week. Completely <laughs> off his game. Fingers crossed <laughs> we'll, we'll have it. But anyway, so. But I do have that. And I do, I, I also have. Shut up! Yeah, we still got that going for us. Yay. All right, Yay. so what we got going on? What's the prologue? Well, uh, well first off, um, as we mentioned, happy President's Day weekend. Yes, yes. Happy. Um, I'm curious if you guys do anything special on President's Day weekend. I know this is a big, you know, ski weekend. Is this or... a gift giving thing? Uh, or... I I don't know. Let's, let's get do you some send answers. Cards? I, I, who you do know? you send them to? Has Has Hallmark capitalized on yeah. this one uh, uh, yet? I not, bet they have. Yeah, I'm I bet, they I bet you they have. Yeah. So yes. let us know if you do anything a little bit different on this particular weekend. Do you get a four day weekend? Yes. Do you get, do a, you get week? a weekend? Uh, right. Yeah. Three day weekend. Oh, I guess it would be a three day weekend, but right. Uh, yeah, so let us know. Uh, let us know any announcements or the, the comments there. Okay. All right, so now we're off to, uh, you know what, Keith? I cannot do a show next Saturday, and that's for everybody out there. Okay, yeah, so we're going to take a little hiatus. Yeah, a little busy. unfortunately, I got a kind of full weekend next okay. weekend okay. of All right, stuff. We'll take a break, and maybe we'll... Hey, give me an extra week to find my symbol. Yeah, right. <laughs> Get a little metal detector going yeah. on back there. Okay. Uh, we forgot our prologue music there. Uh, and if we don't start it soon, <clears> the prologue's going to be over. And uh, <laughs> prologue. So yeah, not, it'll it'll, not, it'll come on in a second. It gets very bassy, so okay. I turn it down a little bit. Um, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. So uh, all right. So no um, no show next week, folks. Uh, anything else for the prologue? Oh, we'll take a yeah. No, that sounds good. Yeah, glad to have you with us this yes. morning. Okay, so we wanted to get on to uh, our Amazon Associates account and uh, our Facebook ad account. Okay. That has um, the Facebook has been disabled for uh, almost a year. And I finally found a workaround okay. uh, for that. Okay, so let's okay. go to our feature music. See, now we're done the prologue already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the um, uh, Amazon Associates account that okay. we had. Um, and as you recall, we had, um, or we do have these, um, these items at the bottom of our products webpage because I sign up for an Amazon Associates account, and right. that way you can sell Amazon accounts and get paid a commission okay. uh, for selling them. And the commissions are pretty minuscule. You know, you're talking like one, two, three percent on everything you sell. Right. So you're not gonna make a living on Amazon 
Okay, unless right. you, I don't know, unless you go full time or right. something, it's got to be really full time. <clears throat> Um, so, um, discovered a little while ago that I no longer had an account when I went into Amazon. It said your number is not recognized okay. as an Amazon associate. So, uh, I was like, man, what's going on? So, I finally called, you know, to their credit, Amazon, you know, I waited for a minute and somebody came on and told okay. me exactly what was going on. And he said, well, what we have, what I, I'm only, he said, I'm only reading what they wrote here. <laughs> He said so. <laughs> he said we have deactivated this account uh, because the website had lack of original content. Okay. <laughs> it's like what? We yeah. are we are so original. We are nothing but original. That's right. Yes. <laughs> so, so they deactivated our account, and I understand by doing a little bit more research. If you don't sell, if you don't sell something very soon after opening the Amazon Associates account, they're going to shut it down. As well, okay. they want you to start, you know, marketing and selling things right away. Okay. So, and of course, we haven't sold anything, haven't marketed any of this. So, right. uh, but the, the the interesting thing is, is that I, it's still on our web page. Okay. The links are still good, and if you go up to the top here, you still see Smack and Jack. Um, that's our code. Smack and Jack twenty is our okay ID code. Okay. So people can still come to our web page, see those items, and then click on them and go to Amazon to sell. We just won't get the the nine cent convention commission. Wow, so split <laughs> two ways plus the overhead. Yes, right. Uh, right. We're going to be feeling it. We would be uh, <laughs> we'd be in the negative, yeah. right? So uh, it's probably better that we don't sell any of this stuff. But anyway, I thought maybe I'd leave it on there. <laughs> okay. Um, because we can still market some of this stuff uh, as a way to try to get people just to visit our webpage yes. and, and snoop around and see yeah. some of the other things on there. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, Anyway, so and then maybe once once we get the the web page going, Completely, and more visitors, yeah. uh, we might be able to reestablish that account. So okay. it's not like we're we're out for good. It's just we're, he said, you know, as soon as you get things kind of solidified on your web page, then let's try it again. And, okay. Uh, so so we can do that. That's good that you actually got a voice to talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah because uh, now our other folks here at Facebook, there is absolutely nobody you can call. Right. Okay. And I forgot to look. Thanks, up. Mark. It, it, yes, right. And I forgot to look up the uh, the email responses that I get, but all the responses to my uh, quest about reestablishing our ad account. Hey, look. Hey, Leslie. <laughs> um, they they would just reply. You're you know, there's nothing more that you can do. This case is closed. Your ad account is suspended. Case closed. Okay. There's nothing more that you can do. Even though I, you know, very nicely, I put in there. I said, you know, I'd like to advertise our, our church bazaar. I'd like to advertise the school. Um, flea market, you know, concept, what yeah. is your suggestion for what I can do here? And they would just reply, we checked into your account, there's nothing we can do, it's closed. You know, which is very irritating. Yes. So, um, I went on the good old YouTube, you know, a fierce competitor of Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I went on the YouTube and I found a nice video um, where this gentleman, he said, if your account is closed, you're done. He said, don't even try, it's a waste of time to try to get it reopened again. However, we have a personal account and we have a business advertising account. So my personal account has been closed. Oh, okay. So let's go to Ad Manager and let's see if I can show you some of this stuff. So I'm, everybody, okay. I'm praying that I can get through this. Okay, so I have an ads man, a personal ads manager account. You see at the top there it says, only active accounts can create or edit ads. That means that this account here is closed, no more. Right. Okay, however, Okay, and again, it's been flagged for policy violations. Again, I got flagged on a on a on an ad that Facebook approved. They approved the ad. It ran for like two days. One morning, I wake up and they tell me my entire account's closed down. <laughs> you know, so that is why I'm so yeah, irritated. Their policies are a little bit uh, exactly. They approved it. Yes. And then they shut down my camp. Huh. They, you shut down my ad account. So anyway, that huh. that is part of my frustration. Okay, so. I have a business page as well, a business uh, ads account, okay? So what I did was, what I was taught to do is go into my business uh, page and create a new ad account through that. Okay. Okay, and that's what I did here. So let's see if I can go here, if this will do, um, and once you get in here, you, you really have to watch some videos on how to organize all this stuff. So I go to my business manager and over here we see business settings. So I see business settings, I click on that. Um, and over here I have ad accounts. I can add people, like I could add you to my account. Okay. Uh, it might, might be a liability. But, uh, <laughs> you don't want to get a flag. Yeah, that's so. right, right. I'm, I'm walking on thin ice here, man. I don't, I don't want to play is. around. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so I go to add accounts here and I can add another account. Um, let's see. Uh, so there's me. I'm the one taking care of it on behalf of Smack and Jack. I can add another. This is the one I just created. Add account to. Okay. Okay. So I add, and then I can add another one. Create new ad account. Okay. And I can have up to five ad accounts. So that is a workaround. It's not like I got the old ad account back. Right. But I'm still able to advertise our our page, our Smack and Jack page. Okay. I was afraid that I was going to have to create a whole new page to start running ads again. Right. And not that I wanted to run too many ads on, on Facebook anyway. Like I just ran a, an ad last week just to make sure it works. Mm -hmm. I put $15 into it, I, like four people saw it. Okay. And that was only advertising to people who already like our page. You know, it, it didn't go any further than that. Right, yes. <laughs> you know, the way Facebook is set up is really kind of crazy. Like your, your, your friends page, you know, you only see like 5% of your friends posts. Yeah, you know, yeah. you don't yes. see all your friends. Yeah, posts. and so anyway, all right. So you put your ad account in here, and then you, you create. I'm not going to go through all that because you, you to to do this, you have to really do some research how to create an ad and, and all that stuff, okay. uh, so that you're not wasting your money, uh, which is kind of what I did last week by throwing fifteen dollars at an ad. Uh, and what all I do is boost our post from last week. Okay. So I boosted it, and uh, people had the option of sending us a message and all that. Yeah. So. So anyway, okay, well, if you're interested in reestablishing an ad account, uh, that's what you need to do. I'd be more than happy to send you the Facebook link. Okay. Um, to anybody who wants to, or I'm sorry, not the Facebook link, the YouTube video link that I followed. Okay. Because this gentleman did a really nice job of showing how you know what to do there. Okay. So, good, okay. Good, so good, Amazon good. Associates, we're out. We've been kicked out. Facebook ads, we can kind of <laughs> brought back into the. So the we're line. gonna. We're gonna uh, come on strong as just being uh, like a, a show that nobody wants. That's right. <laughs> and uh, you know things have happened that way. You know, you yeah. in, in through the back door. That's you know? right. That's Any right. Any way we can. We're get gonna there, keep so. trudging away, trudging away. All right. What anyway, we got next year? Uh, Richard sent on with us today. Let's Yay! All about. right. Okay. Uh, what else we got? I going? think we should do our questionable post. Questionable post. Okay. Yeah. Let's. And do that. then we'll do our, our jokes. Okay? okay. All right. That's so good. folks, we have a you know this new little <laughs> segment where we. If a questionable post comes up, I'll, I'll show it to you. Uh, I'm going to show this one for a brief moment. A disgusting questionable post, which will probably yeah. make me feel even better this morning. So this one's brought to our, our friend Matt uh, Matt Pevins, I'll say, because you're going to see his name. But uh, I actually worked with Matt years ago at the post office. Right. He's still uh, you know, working as... Uh, he also a, worked with Dad. He worked with um, Dad, knew yep. Dad very well, Yep. Uh, postal carrier. Uh, but he posted, this is not his picture it's not him okay but it's a picture that apparently came across or shared with him uh, from a dog bite um, a, a, that was inflicted upon a, a mailman another letter carrier yes okay. another yep. letter, letter carrier as he was on his route so wow. okay let's uh, so let's take a look at this we'll just um, this doesn't sound good from the get-go yeah well, let's so check it out oh, all right so no. that's what a dog can do to wow. the mail carrier right and I feel for this guy um, I'm assuming it's a, a, a man just by looking at the hand there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so we'll, wow. we'll come away from that picture. But, um, you know, I was, when I was a mailman, I was bitten by a dog one time. And of course, oh, he doesn't bite. Yes. Yeah. Well, there I am sitting in the emergency room for the, and it wasn't a huge, it wasn't a huge deal. But the policy is if you get bit by a dog, you have to go to the emergency oh, room. Oh, yes. Sure. So there I am up into you know, like eight o'clock at night sitting with my uh, my boss at the emergency room, yeah. you know, and and dad got that a lot too. Well, oh, the dog's not going to I remember him talking about that. Yeah. Whenever he had a parcel he had to get signed for, he put his foot on the door mm -hmm. and those dogs were just, maybe they just wanted to say hello, but he would not open that door yeah. until the, the the homeowner put that dog away. Yeah. And yeah, because you worked. know, no matter what the dog is, they're uh, frightened or startled or, or something. excited or excited. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And yep. um, so, anyway, thank wow. you, Matt, for sharing yes. our yeah. uh, Very, uh, questionable post of the day. I'll be sure to tag you on our, uh, yes, <laughs> our yes. video here. Okay. So let's Very get some, something a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> we need to do our jokes here, right? Oh let's yes. Let's move on the jokes. jokes. Yeah. Let's do some Folks, jokes. we have some and awesome once again, jokes here. Uh, Brad. Lucky for you. <laughs> yeah, lucky for you. Brad. Lost my symbol, but we didn't lose the book. The book. <laughs> well, you can do like a ching. Where? Do, ching. How do I do the? Oh, you, oh, you ching, ching, ching. Oh, oh my gosh, man! 
He's Some not percussionist a percussionist. You are I am, not huh? a human beatbox oh, at all. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. when people do, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. You got to do the ching, ching, ching. all by yourself. All right. All okay. right. All right. Here we go. Joke number one. No joke number one. Okay. All right. These are good today. Okay. I, I have already read through these. Okay. <laughs> Where did the pig go to recover from his fall? Where? The hog spittle. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There you go. All right. Which skunk <laughs> lives in a church? Which? Pepe Le Pew. Oh, I get it. In the pew. Yes. <laughs> All right. What kind of books do skunks read? What? Best smellers. <laughs> All right. What do you call a teddy who wears flannel and cuts down trees for a living? Oh, I, I don't know. A lumbear jack. Okay, lumbear jack. I, I was... All right, and our last one here. We should probably end it right there, but we're going to end it on we're, this we one. Always okay, what doing. does the cow like to do on her day off? What? Go to the movies. <laughs> oh, that's not it. Oh, I was man. looking for a wah, wah, wah. We don't have Yeah, the sad really. trombone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. You gotta move this way into the screen a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I have like an acre of land here between you. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll All right. <laughs> so very good. Very good. Thank bravo, bravo. Very good. Very good. Those jokes weren't so bad, were they? You can no, tell them all not, around not the dinner really. table and say that you got them from Smack and Jack Live and Smack and Jack Live got them from the Jokopedia and Jokopedia. We got that from <laughs> got from Brad. Brad got from the bookstore in Wisconsin. Okay, <laughs> Bravo. Brad's eating his breakfast while we're showing our. Uh, I the know. Hands. Sorry, well, man. You know. Sorry, we never uh, said that everything is going to be honky dory no, on the show. Uh, no, we, we, questionable posts, yes, yes, yeah, you know. Questionable, so, yeah. uh, all right, okay. so let's do uh, our President's Day f trivia. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, do our trivia first, okay? Right, right, trivia. Trivia, and uh, yes. yeah, let's stay on this screen here. So let's go to trivia, and remember, folks, that um, you uh, are welcome to type in the answers, uh, either all in one post. Right. One response, or you may uh, type in, you know, each response as we go. As we go. Yep. Okay. And, uh, and feel free to just to throw out an answer, give us a guess. Nobody's judgmental right. here because you and I know absolutely none of the no, answers here. No, Although you uh -uh. might know one of them. One of them. One. For some okay. real yeah. weird Yeah. Okay, reason. so let's get going here. This is all key. There you go. Okay. Uh, which French post-impressionist artist, artist painted a Sunday afternoon on the Isle of La Garde Gete? Uh, I can kind of picture the picture, but I still can't pronounce it. Le, Le Grande Gate, I think yeah, is Yeah, all right. So everybody okay. take a close look at that because... <laughs> True, I'll read that, that again at the end. That is a questionable one yes, there. Okay. Yeah. What U.S. nonprofit organization sells about 200 million boxes of cookies per year? <coughs> and no water at all. One pretty, second. Pretty sure it's not Walmart. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the scientific unit named after Sir Isaac Newton measures what... Measures what? The scientific unit named after Sir Isaac Newton measures what? Uh, resistance to civil government, civil disobedience, is a 1849 essay written by which American author? Hmm. Okay. That's, that's a tough one. Uh, what is the only country that displays the Bible on its national flag? Hmm. I kind of have an idea, but uh, anyway. <clears throat> Prince Rainier III of Monaco married which American actress in April of 1956? I know this answer. And okay. If you're, uh, well, we'll talk about that later. All right. CBGB, the former infamous New York Music Club, stands for what? And I should know that because I actually played my drums in that club. That's awesome. The, that is, that is uh, really yep, cool. Where the Mar Ramones, Blondie, and all of those people started. Yeah, I was there. Right. Yeah. Nice. Uh, nice. Right. Okay. Which French post? Or, See if you, yeah, you read that. <laughs> Which French post-impressionist artist painted a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte? Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I don't know. That okay. sounds better than what I did. <laughs> what U.S. nonprofit organization sells about 200 million boxes of cookies per year? Hmm. The scientific unit named after Sir Isaac Newton measures what? Resistance to Civil Government or Civil Disobedience is an 1849 essay written by which American author? What is the only country that displays the Bible on its national flag? Okay. Prince Rainier III of Monaco married which American actress in 1956? 
And CBGB, the former infamous New York Music Nightclub, stands for what? Okay, and okay. then uh, we will come back to that. Yeah, we got some, All right. we got some answers already. Got answers doing all right? Yeah, all right, yeah, very good. good. Yeah. Good. Okay. How about we go back to uh, why don't we go back to feature music for our fun facts okay. of uh, President's Day? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, again, Happy President's Day to everybody. Uh, which is one, Monday. Which is Correct. Monday. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we're gonna read through this um, and just get a little bit of information about President's Day, where it came from, why okay. we have it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. okay. For President's Day, enjoying some trivia about two of the most famous uh, February-born American presidents. Both are celebrated, as we know, George and uh, Abe, as national heroes for services offered to our country. All right, let's move on here. Okay, our first president born, George Washington, that is, born on February 22nd, so that's not too far away. You're right. 1732 is most famous for his inspired military leadership during the American Revolution. But did you know that George Washington left the office of president after two terms so that people would have opportunities for new leadership? Even today, our president may not serve longer than two consecutive terms. I did know that. <clears throat> Very yeah. mm -hmm. little do I know, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was well read, especially enjoyed Shakespeare and books of agrono agronomy. Ag agronomy. Maybe? Yes, I don't know. But never <laughs> attended college. I read that the other night. I was like, wow. ah, how do you say that? Right? He never attended college. Yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, Loved attending the theater as often as possible. Joseph Addison's Cato, Cato was a favorite play. Uh, worked as a surveyor before becoming a military leader and statesman. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a middle name. Huh. Wow. Lived in New York and Philadelphia while he was president. Um, enjoyed cornmeal pancakes as a special breakfast treat for... Mm -hmm. Does that say hoe cakes? <laughs> wow, is that what they're called? Hoe cakes. I guess that's probably why they're not so popular anymore. Yeah, right. right. They changed it to pancakes. Uh, worked to create a productive plantation at Mount Vernon, where he died on December 4th, 1799, after falling ill with a throat infection. All right, so Abraham Lincoln facts. Uh, 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln enjoyed many amenities George Washington never knew, including living in the White House and enjoying more state dinners amid elegant surroundings. So things were a little bit more posh by the time he became president. Okay. At the same time, Lincoln was a man of relatively simple tastes, whose honesty and integrity are still celebrated today. Here are a few things you might not know about Abraham Lincoln. He was the first president to, become, to, to come from a state other than the original 13 colonies. Oh. He was born on a farm in Kentucky. Uh, February 12th, 1809. Okay. He disliked being called Abe, preferring to be called by his surname. As an avid animal lover, Lincoln allowed his cat Tabby to eat at the table in the White House. He also had a dog named Fido. Huh. You, you do that, don't you? Uh, uh, when, we when try not to okay. with our cats. <laughs> we try not, although it's sometimes we are unsuccessful. Lincoln established Thanksgiving as a national holiday. He regularly stowed important documents in his hat. Well, when you wear a hat like that, you, know, you could well, probably... that's funny. Yeah, 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 a lot of I mean, stuff. Nowadays, he'd probably have his iPad, yeah. his laptop, and everything in there. Actually, I think if he had stowed a little bit more kind of in the back... Uh, never mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hold yeah. on, hold on a second. There we go. He was the first president with a beard. Huh. Lincoln was a talented wrestler as a young man and enshrined in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Wow. That's interesting. That is very interesting. So he would have been uh, like a feature on a WWF yeah. SmackDown or something like that, right? Okay, so a little bit more yeah, about presidents in general. Um, <laughs> so two future presidents who signed, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, both died on the 50th anniversary of the signing of Declaration in 1826. Okay. The S in Harry Truman does not stand for anything. Wow. How interesting. I wonder, a, I wonder wow. how it got there. Ah. James Madison and George Washington are the only presidents who signed the Constitution. John F. Kennedy, Kennedy was the first president who was a Boy Scout. Martin Van Buren was the first president to be born as a citizen of the United States. The presidents be, before him were born as British subjects. Wow, okay. Huh. Okay. James K. Polk <laughs> was the first president to have his photograph taken while in office. William Henry Harrison died just 32 days after becoming president. He died from a cold he got while standing in the rain giving his inauguration speech. We were we talking learned that about last week, yes. This last yep. week, his right? His birthday was last week. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and he got a cold wow. while standing in the rain. Isn't that and, something? And we talk about those types of things all yeah. the time, right? 32 days later. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's a something. shame. Even though George Washington's birthday is February 22nd, the day is officially celebrated on the third month in, or third Monday in February. 
Abraham Lincoln's birthday falls close to Washington, but Lincoln's is not a federal holiday. Some states still celebrate his birthday with George Washington's. Even though President's Day is a holiday, a federal holiday, each state is free to call it what they choose and how to celebrate. Washington's birthday can never occur on, public, on the public holiday. Under the uh, Gregorian calendar, Washington's birthday was 20, uh, 22nd of February, but the holiday is observed on the third Monday in February, which cannot occur any later than February the 21st. Hmm. Right? Four presidents were born in February. Abraham Lincoln, Ronald Reagan, George Washington, and William Harrison. And the last one, the tallest U.S. president was Abraham Lincoln at six feet, four inches. While the shortest was James Madison at five feet, four inches. Wow. That's pretty short, yeah, huh? And uh, sure just uh, most people notice, but I went to James Madison yes, University. Yes, Yes. Yeah. So uh, I learned, learned a little good. bit okay. about him while I yeah. stayed in it. Uh, yeah. Very good. Very so, uh, Very good yeah. So hope uh, hope that helped you out with a little bit about uh, President's Day, etc., etc. Yes. Okay. So we still don't know about who to send cards to or if we should even. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know that's something we should have checked flowers. into before. Yeah. So let us know if you send cards. Do you send cards on President's Day weekend? Yeah, and if anybody goes to Hallmark in the next couple of days, uh, and you happen to, well, I guess you wouldn't see them this year, but anyway, if you know anything about it, let us know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I got, so, just got something from Barbara uh, Jeffrey. Jefferson and Adams did not like each other. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams did oh, not okay. like each other. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I bet there's you know what how politics are today? They uh, were probably exactly oh, the I'm same. Sure back they then. Were, yeah. And even more because back then they had duels. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, let's take it outside. You want a yeah. wall? Let's take it outside. <laughs> yeah, really? I don't want a wall boom. I'll show you how walls built. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, very good, Joel. Very All good. right. So okay. uh, let's get back to our trivia answers. Okay. Uh, we have some answers there, right? They got it. Quite All right. A let's see. Let's see how we're doing here. Uh, All right. What screen do we want to use? Do we want to use this one? Let's let's go back to this one here. I like yeah. it because they have the uh, the flag on the back there. Okay. <laughs> trivia trivia answers. Let's get rid of some of these other uh, pages up there. Okay. So, which French post impressionist artist painted a Sunday afternoon on the Isle of La Grande Gate? Here we go. George Surratt? George Surratt. Yes, Surratt. Yay. Anybody get that? Uh, no. Okay. That's fine. No, Neither that, did we. But okay. What U.S. nonprofit organization sells about 200 million boxes of cookies a year? We said that it probably was not Walmart. And Brad gets Girl Scouts. Let's see what uh, we have Lynn here. gets Girl Scouts. Uh, yeah. Get Girl Scouts. Woo -hoo, very good. Very good. Yeah. And you know, it's been a few years, but I remember selling Girl Scout cookies with girl. Oh, okay. Sophia. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you took this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Scientific unit named uh, after Sir Isaac Newton measures what? We have and a... Richard says gravity. Ah, let's see. Oh, force. force. Well, that's. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, that's. I'm assuming very similar as far as. Anyway. It's kind of a weird question. It wasn't. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. Re go ahead. Uh, resistance to civil government, civil disobedience, is a 1849 essay written by which American author? All right. Uh, let's see what we have. Do we have this? Uh, no, we don't. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Henry David uh, Thoreau. Thoreau. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, some of these names just do not come to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What is the, go ahead. What is the only country that displays the Bible on its national flag? And I want to say... I want to say Ireland, but I think Ireland's flag is pretty basic. Uh, so, uh, anybody else have an answer there? Let's go to uh, no. All right, let's find out here. The Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic. Okay, that makes okay. sense. Yeah, very, right. very Catholic and very. Uh, Prince yes. Rainier the Third of Monaco married which American actress in April of ni okay. 1956? Well, we, we, we have some a, answers on this one. We have a lot of Grace Kellys. A lot of right. That's what you're going to say too, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, is that, that what yep. your response? Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Grace Philadelphia. Kelly. Yes. Hey, yeah. All right. CB GB, the former infamous New York Music Club, stands for what? Uh, we have Bob. What was? Oh, maybe that's somebody else's answer. Uh, nope. Uh, I have no idea. All right, here we go. Country, bluegrass, and blues. Oh. oh see, that was just yeah. too simple. Yeah, it was very, very simple. That was simple. just too yeah, simple. Good. All right, okay. thanks for playing along there, folks. In our uh, trivia. We have a couple of answers here. I don't know what they pertain to. Pick rocks and uh, Bob. So, <clears throat> anyway. But anyway, thanks for playing along. We'll have some more trivia next week. Uh, in two weeks. Yeah. And it's, a, it's always a fun thing. So, uh, 
We're getting along I, here. I think so. we're to the end of our show. Yes, we I better get to the birthday minute. We better get we to the birthday of, uh, minute. Out here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're right. figuring out quickly. <laughs> so, so. All right, you ready uh, to hit the birthday uh, intro yes, there? I am. I all right, am. here Let's we go. Let's do it. Now it's time for the Smack and Jack's birthday minute. Birthday minute. Okay. My blower. <laughs> Don't say that too loud, Keith. <laughs> All right. Talking about awkward moments on yeah. this uh, set. Awkward. Awkward. Well, right, what let's we got see. Today, it is, uh, what is today? It is February the 16th. February 16th. Yes, and, it is. Uh, born this day in uh, 1958, Ice-T. Mm. Rapper that's been doing a lot of time on... Uh, uh, Law and Order, I think he's been on Law and Order. Yes, one of the yeah, things for a long time. Like, yeah. I actually like him a lot better on that than I did in his rap set. Yeah. LeVar Burton, born on this day, 1957. Okay. We were talking about LeVar Burton a little while ago, and I can't remember exactly what. He was in Roots. He was in uh, Star Trek Next Generation. All right, I'm going to believe you on that. Sonny Bono was born this day in 1935. And that's something who's almost as old as Dad. Wow. Sonny yeah. Bono, yeah. yeah. Sonny Bono, Sonny and Cher, you know, very popular... Mm -hmm. uh, and John McEnroe, very um, probably about the most distinguished uh, for me tennis player. Tennis player, yeah. Uh, just yeah. his, his, just remembers. Yeah, I remember watching him, him yelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born this day in 1958. Uh, 1959, he was born. So. All right. So. Okay. What else we got closer to home? Okay. Joel? So on our uh, friends list today, we're gonna have a little rhythm going on. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. Well, let me get the rest. So of on our friend list today, we have nobody having a birthday today. Crazy. Okay. All right, so I'll start with tomorrow, February the 17th on okay. Sunday. We have, uh, we say happy birthday to Amy and Michael. Yay, happy birthday, guys, tomorrow. All right, and then on Monday, February the 18th, on President's Day, we yep. say happy birthday to Kim, Melissa, and Renee. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Monday. Hope you have a great day. On Tuesday the 19th, we have Brian, Denny, and Lisa. Yeah, happy birthday, guys, on Tuesday the 19th. Wednesday the 20th, we have... Steph, happy birthday on Wednesday the 20th. All right, Thursday the 21st, we have Andrew, Kirk, and Andrew. Sorry, Ooh. Andrew, Kirk, and Edward. Okay. Happy That's birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then on Friday the 22nd, we have Ed, Hazel, Kayla, and Monica. Happy birthday, yeah, guys. Happy birthday, guys. <laughs> and on Saturday the 23rd, which is next Saturday, yep. we have Jimmy and Kim. Yay! Ooh, happy birthday, Happy folks. birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> Yay! And I <laughs> and I have to say a very special birthday today. My lovely wife Stephanie's birthday is very good. And I'm pretty sure she'll be watching the show. Oh yes, oh yeah, she's probably on right now watching from from a happy distance. Happy birthday, Steph! Yay! Happy birthday to my lovely wife. All right, hope you all have a great day. Have a great week on your birthday week, and we're going to get ourselves out of the birthday minute. And here we go. Birthday out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> All right, we're running long, so we got to get out of here. Yeah. We're not going to be around next week. We won't right? be around so next we week. We'll be nope. back in two weeks. So have a, have the uh, morning off. You can uh, watch our repeats on uh, YouTube. Yeah, check them out and yeah. uh, have a great couple of weeks, guys. Thank you always for stopping by, and uh, it's always great Sorry. hanging out with my brother Joel and t hanging out with you guys on Saturday morning. So remember, uh, you deserve a thought of your own. So learn, laugh, and live. Smackinjack.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank see you guys. Jack. Smack death in the face. Check it up, check it up.